Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Southern RPG. So I finally completed the game. Now I didn't get every single achievement, but I did every side quest, I did every companion quest, and did the main story right up until the last bloody moment. And I have to tell you, I'm disappointed. Now I know I said it wasn't as bad as people were making it out to be in the last video where it was like the first 10 hours. But if you want to hear like my thoughts in one sentence, they should have finished this story with a fucking headbutt in the opening scene like i'm i'm doing I'm, I'm talking now like right now after just completing the whole like completing the game and doing the last credits and stuff like that and i'm i'm seriously like i can't even get angry about it i'm just shocked like i'm normally talking at a million miles an hour but right now i can't even i can't even like i'm just wrapping my head around it they literally destroyed my most loved series ever and i'm gonna tell you why and it's got fuck all to do with the woke stuff it's got nothing to do with binary it's got nothing to do with he she they them she he blah 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 it's got nothing to do with that i'm just gonna talk about the actual story points the writing and the contradictions and the fucking bullshit that they did in this just to i don't even just just the standard just the, just the standard story arc and i'm gonna break it down in as basic as possible you start off as a nobody picked up in a pub by a geezer who's been self-narrating the dragon age games since dragon age 2 obviously i'm talking about varic i will put a little pre-warning here there will be spoilers i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna actually talk about the entire fucking thing so you are just a random dude picked up in a pub and depending on your faction that you start with you have a different beginning part let's say a pre-story that you you have before you end up in that pub at the beginning and headbutting the bird up against the wall and knocking her out which was probably the best scene in the entire game to be perfectly honest i actually laughed and that was the first and last time i laughed during the entire game right snap out of it i need to start getting into actually talking about it snap out of it i'm fucking disappointed man right so you go through and you start i mean the thing that's so bad about the way that this is written is that you don't even know where the main quests start and end and the side quests start and end and the companion quests start and end because it's so it's all monotonous like it's all on the same line it's all on the same level through the entire game so you don't even like it's even really hard to remember quite a bit of the actual storyline through the middle of the game because it was just so brain dead the delivery of all of the lines the lines themselves they were all like i mean after the first 10 hours or so it starts going downhill really quickly one thing that one thing that actually what they were doing and one thing that actually caught my attention a lot was the time in between someone asking a question and somebody answering like the, the there was so much space in between that i'm like did my game freeze like i i don't the the pacing was horrible the, of the conversations the pacing of the conversations the pacing of the story was horrible i mean without going into like massive amounts of detail i really feel like the entire time i just just should have been playing as the inquisitor again i should have been playing as that character and it should have had the same party members as the game before depending on how it ended for you it should have been that way but it couldn't have been that way because they couldn't fuck with loved characters more than they like they already did with the inquisitor in this one because I, when i get to the end and i'll explain the inquisitor pops up and does some madness like i really feel like they, they should have just they should have been the, a continuation of inquisition it should have been a bloody continuation there should have been all the same characters because those characters like were so good they good i really love dragon age inquisition even when a lot of people hated it at the start i really really liked it and i just feel like we should have been playing the inquisitor again i mean there should have been like there's they already had the system in there where you can pick and choose what the inquisitor did whether he saved Silas or not and blah 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 if he was still friends with him in love with him and all that kind of stuff there was all those options there so it could have been done but they just last minute it feels like just last minute they've thrown in some random ass guy that it just has no backstory no personality the voices are like from some random ass villages in like the middle of wales the females got like someone up in jersey jersey shore type shit someone up in newcastle one of the female voices and the other female voices from the hills and valleys of wales and the guy's voice is like just just in some tiny I, I don't know the voice acting was so bad it was so bad the only two voices i quite enjoyed was barracks always because his barrack love his voice 
You're going to have to let me down in the comments what his name was. The guy who does the voice acting. So I'm not going to check it right now. I'm literally, after this video, after I've done finishing, after I've finished this video, I'm going to bed and sleeping for three days because I did it all in a couple of days. I've hardly slept because I felt like I had to just get through it because if I put it down, I would have just stopped. And I really wanted to get to the end so I can at least have a conversation about the whole thing because I don't think you can really have a conversation about something you don't know fully about. Not really. Like, I feel like I can't have a full understanding and a full idea of what actually happened without doing it myself so you start off on a game then you start to meet two friends you end up in the fade you end up in a fade in this lighthouse with two people then you start recruiting other people you get some more people and i say people and i'm not gonna say names because i only remember names name and like i can't even remember the luciana is it lucianus luciana lucky uh, god knows i have no idea because it was so goddamn literally so lackluster i mean the best character is the skeleton with the glowing head man that literally he's your best companion he has the most personality out of all of them and he's actually funny i lied earlier when i said it was the only time i laughed was the headbutt i laughed at that skeleton a few times it was actually kind of cool and then the best supporting actor goes to the griffin because the rest are just dog shit and i'm not talking about the the like virtual signaling talking about how like doing the press ups because you gave the wrong pronouns to someone and shit like that i don't care about any of that stuff that stuff can go in there and it can go by as long as it's like few and far between it was quite a lot in the story storyline though like it, it was quite a lot especially when you get to Taj when you get to that character then it kind of goes into like a really it starts getting really bad I did notice that like and I don't know why I noticed this I think it's literally because of the kind of landscape at the moment because I never would have noticed something like this before but every bad dude was white man male white and i never would have noticed that before that's how bad this argument's getting between the two sides that they're even getting into my brain and making me see shit that i would have never seen before and it's starting to really wind me up because like it kind of it's kind of ruined things for me to be able to just like i'm playing for a game then i start noticing stupid shit like that i mean it's literally something that doesn't mean anything to anyone it's a fucking fantasy game but i'm starting to notice it that's how bad it's getting but anyway let's go towards the middle of the game towards the middle of the game you've recruited all your guys and you're running around and you, you get a couple of major choices you get a choice between lucianus and nave like helping with mithranus or going and helping in i can't even remember the name of the city that's how bad it is it is that bad that i can't even remember the name of his city i'm gonna have to look it up it's not even mithranus it's minrafus like it's just that bad right so treviso that was the one treviso jesus christ you get to choose between where you go to fight a dragon there's two dragons they're attacking the same this is how bad it is they didn't even have two different things happen they just had the same shit happen in two cities at the same time and you just have to kind of pick one like it wasn't like she sent the like the, the bad guys sent the dark spawn to one place and a dragon to the other and you have to pick one or the other it was just like they're both doing the same shit at the same time and there's nothing else you can really do and you just have to pick one of them and one of them's like the choice you have is save innocent people and the the way the game is going where they want you to be good guy like all the time no matter what fucking answer you give it's just and that you always end up being a good guy so they're going to expect you to go for the innocent civilians who are going to die rather than the people like we're because the tevinter imperium they're gonna they're gonna actually just win but the government's going to be so hit hard by the dragon that you got the bad guys from there they're gonna end up taking over and like putting everyone into slavery and becoming powerful and stuff like that the blood mage so you have to pick one of those two things so i went obviously went with nave nave was the person i was talking to the most and actually she wasn't the worst character out of all of them she was actually not that bad but then as the game went on they all became the same personality they're literally all from california at this point balar is just annoying as hell lace is just lace lusanis is just like held back by the the writing and the the theme and the sort of story they're trying to tell davrin was all right davrin weren't too bad emric was pretty cool as well he was just funny like a little bit and then you just have nave who was actually pretty decent taj dog shit character like she just says like four words and all and all, all those words are just we all know what it was and then you've got rook the nobody who comes out of nowhere and kind of seems to just know everyone talking to solus like he's known him for 20 years it should have this is why i'm seeing it, it should have been the bloody inquisitor it should have been him from the beginning so you get past that point and a load of things go on and we're just gonna like because it, it's so bland in between that you don't really need to know everything it's just not very good the pacing was bad i started to zone out a lot and i started to like skip conversations during companion quests and shit because it just like i just wanted to get through it it felt so much like it wanted me to drop the game like just listening if i if i carried on listening to every conversation from the companion quests 
and the side quests i it, it, i literally would have dropped it hours and hours and hours ago i would have dropped it 30 hours ago i would have literally dropped it so long ago and it, like it, i just kind of started to having to skip some stuff now let's just get to my main my main part the main bit that's just like that that really pissed me off and it's the endings now we have several endings and i did have a go through all of because it doesn't really matter what you pick through the entire game you can just like not really you can still end up with the three options just from a pit, something you pick at the end. It's kind of like Mass Effect 3. But you know what the game felt like to me? It felt like Assassin's Creed, man. Like the whole, the way, the way that you're going around collecting boxes and shit and like you're undoing chests all the time and doing little puzzles to get to a chest and going to the high places and doing uh, like a puzzle to get another chest. And then you go into a little bit of voice acting with some like fake choice and blah, blah, blah. It literally... This game should have been called Dragon Age Creed. Like it should have been called that because it, it it's exactly the same as Ubisoft's games. Like I I felt like I was playing an Assassin's Creed game, not a Dragon Age game. Like I really did feel that way. But let's talk about the ending, the way that it comes out. Now, Solus says a few things. Like Solus is not the character that I know him as from the previous game. He's not the kind of person that would sit there and say, I am a god because he gets upset. That's just bullshit like it's so bad and the only bit of the ending that could have been seen as any way decent is when the, the ending when he with the inquisitor where the inquisitor's like i love you i love you too and you get pulled off into the fucking veil and they go there together and blah 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 but even that was pretty damn bad to be honest and it completely kind of threw me off the way that they made solace out to be this kind of completely different person and changed his personality i'm not even going to really talk about the other two bosses because the other two end game guys the the last dude he was just fucking lackluster like so bad i don't even remember his name <laughs> like it's probably because i'm just really tired because i've been playing it for two days straight because at some point at the end he talks about like the, like the, one of the endings is the rook just sits there and says you were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires motherfucker have you never seen dragon age inquisition you don't even know who solus is you've literally been in dragon age for about five minutes the the whatever months you were in and literally just sitting there and speaking to me your dreams every now and then. it's not like you became best fucking friends or anything it's like i just don't understand how you could think that way it's an absolutely stupid line for rook to say because he led a rebellion against the elven gods in the old times man he literally that he sacrificed the entire elven empire to seal them away like he goes he goes like he he did a thing with iron ball well like because i remember the scene where he was like he's playing chess or something and he sacrifices all his main pieces to win and then that, it's just the oh jesus mary and joseph like there's not even an uh, ending where you can actually there's there's no ending that you can choose solace's side and just like make the world a better place there's that ending doesn't exist it doesn't exist you can be good you can be bad good you can be neutral good or you can be the secret ending now i won't talk about the secret ending because that's just even worse to be honest the, the like the the fucking cabal of vague bullshit at the end of it like the, the secret credit bit is just what in the holiest of hells i hope every single writer that was in this game gets fired and they just get rid of all of them i don't you know what at this point i don't even want to see another dragon age game i don't want them to attempt it again i'm gonna wait to see what happens with mass effect and if they ruin mass effect that's me done with bioware completely i think i uh, just i tried to give this game a chance I tried to give it a little bit of something. I just thought it was... I mean, I knew what was coming, but I didn't know it was going to be that bad. And then, like, wrap your heads around this one, okay? Wrap your heads around the fact that Solus wasn't doing this of his own free will. He was under the thumb of a really strong elven woman who was telling him what to do. He was in the fade, living his best life, all calm and comfortable and calculated. And she was like, go to war for me. And he's like, okay. And he starts fighting the gods and blah, 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 blah. And all this kind of stuff happened. And the ending for that one was just like, haha, just kidding. No, very matter. Like, da, da, da. it doesn't matter. Actually, just stop. And he stops. And he just goes off into the fucking fade with the Inquisitor while they're holding hands and giving each other the most awkward fucking looking kiss on the planet where they're not even touching each other. It's air kisses. I mean, what happened to like him having the ultimate fear of dying alone? Like what happened to his beliefs and values? What happened? What happened to him between Inquisition and now? I tell you what happened. Dog shit 
fucking writing is what happened like there's so many questions like about Levelin being enslaved by Mithal and how was he able to kill Flemeth and then it turns out that Morgana's fucking Mithal and she just has to touch her head with a statue and it, it, she just like <laughs> she literally starts speaking to him she goes oh it's, it's okay Solus <gasps> I, I forgive you just I, I don't want you to do it anymore you don't have to do it and he's like yeah all right fine fuck it let me just go throw myself into the fade uh not into the fade sorry into the uh throws himself into the breach where he then tells us he can't kill the blight but he can hold it there blah 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 it just feels like they just completely completely misunderstood the character and motivations soulless it, of Solus himself like it just he rejected being a god from the day from day dot like from the beginning he rejected about being a god he was trying to fix the world or bring it back and bring it and he always kind of saw people like in the world as hollowed out figures of what they could have been because he took it away from them when he imprisoned the god which aren't really gods they're just mages really powerful mages so they're not even actually gods <laughs> and the reason why i was trying to do it at least in my opinion this is just my opinion like he created these puppets that we are the the hollowed out humans elves dwarves and we just remind him of the guilt that he and it 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 just didn't happen in this game at all. It just didn't do anything with the story. The whole build-up of Inquisition, they didn't do fuck all with it. It just kind of feels like the most insulting middle finger to us, the players. It's like a taunt. It's like, fuck you, we can do what we want. And imagine a purposely making a game where you can't choose to be a bad guy at all the bad choice it's literally doesn't matter what you pick on the wheel it all ends up the same all the time like all the fucking time you can't piss people off not really like i mean they they still do the whole story with you and blah 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 it doesn't really do fuck all this if you drop them below a certain point they just stop using support skills so it's like oh i didn't think it was that bad but it really is that bad and the fact you kind of like you don't even get to pick like flemeth won somehow flemeth won somehow and they turned the dread wolf into a giant wolf i forgot about that one as well with eight green eyes or some shit and he he wins that that boss fight at the beginning just by getting his ass kicked and then bites the neck out of the dragon out of nowhere and then suddenly the main boss man is no longer immortal it's, it's the most lazy writing i've ever seen in an rpg ever this absolute mastermind from inquisition just is an absolute fucking under the thumb pussy whipped idiot like i just don't understand uh i mean even with the like soulless romance ending the inquisitor tried to take him out of it and failed already and then years later suddenly it's different right now because they just wanted to end the game i don't understand like morrigan is still a slave even though she's like letting soulless go it's today just not understand how fucking mental that is you know what it feels like it feels like a fan fiction reddit post this is what it feels like it literally feels like a fan fiction it feels like someone has written fan fiction on reddit about two of their favorite characters doing some fucking rule 13 and bullshit it was like they sat there and like right there's this big massive dude godlike creature massive powers sits there in the middle of a chair in the middle of some weird ass fucking hen i seen they, all the stuff that they took out of this game but for some reason they wanted fucking tentacle in there like i don't, I don't know it, it was a bit sensual the way that those fucking things were stroking his shoulders and shit but their way of deciding how to beat this godlike creature is just to overpower him with a knife and make some really weird grumpy ass face at it now the one that actually was okay like there was one ending that was okay and that was the the quote unquote bad ending the evil ending where you just kind of give him a fake knife and hide the real knife behind you and you kind of like trick him and he's like i'm a god i'm the best thing since sliced bread i'm so smart i'm so wise and that's not his fucking character by the way but that's what they that's how they portrayed him in the ending and so you trick him and then he's like i'm a fool i trained you well and you're like no varick trained me you just killed him and blah 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 blah, blah. and then you just shove the knife at you cut his hand and say now a new god's power in the veil and just cut his hand and he goes off into oblivion and that's the end 
And that, that, I mean, that was as good as it got. I just wish we could have supported Solus in bringing the veil down. That would have made it kind of cool. And that the, the fact that they really needed the game to be the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor needed to be main character. They still had to have the kind of... If, even if they didn't have all of the same characters, add one or two. You want to add some binary nonsense to the game. Then create one character to do all that shit for you. That's basically what you've done with this cast of characters, man. And it's just... It ruined the right... Ruined everything and it was it just felt like the writers were too scared to say anything or go over the line man it's just like what is wrong with the fucking world well and i guess with varric's death becomes the death of dragon age ladies and gentlemen i think it's over i think it's done i, I don't think they're gonna do anything else with it or they're gonna try to and it's just gonna fail again and this time i'm not gonna try and cope with the fact that i wanted the game to be good i'm just not gonna bother with it anymore to be perfectly honest so let me know what you guys thought about the ending and the story and everything as you're going through it i want to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed my complete depressing motion and nature at this moment in time i'm gonna go get some bloody sleep thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chat scams